another video on the TV Tuner Super Regenerative Receiver. Still unfinished but working. As you can see it's now in a box. There's several controls. This is the AGC setting for the TV tuner. You normally just set it to maximum gain. Here is the bias adjustment on the transistor. Sort of a regeneration control. It does all sorts of things. If you set it up um, here, it stops oscillating. Then you advance it a bit more and then goes quieter and then stops and right now when, when I advanced it too far the receiver goes silent and to set it up again I have to turn it off and on and now I've got oscillation now just tuning by that actually sounds more like a regenerative receiver than a super regen so you can hear that um, beat note there. But if you just set it here, there's a bit of interaction between the controls but that is quite clear. In fact, that doesn't even sound like it's slope detecting, but this is a tone modulated FM signal sending Morse. It's a Morse practice beacon. And you heard in the previous video that this could reproduce FM quite well. Just there, that was the aircraft band. This is the TV tuner, and in here is the one transistor super regen receiver. Eventually, I want to add more parts to it so that the crinching is done with an external oscillator, maybe also a noise gate to give it a squelch effect. But for now, it's just a one transistor tunable IF tuning between about 20 and 50 megahertz. China Southern 8012, contact sensor 132, decimal 6. Uh, 8012, confirm the frequency 132, decimal 6. FM 132, decimal 6. 132, decimal 6, contact sensor 8012, good day. I've now connected a different antenna, a horizontally polarized beam. I'm still hearing the Morse beacon, that's 145.650, but I'll now tune down lower. There's a signal here. Doesn't sound like a real signal, but could be. That is clearly some Morse. That you might have heard was RGL. And the beacon is VK3RGL. What I will now do is to use this Nano VNA to operate as a beat frequency oscillator. I've done it in previous videos, successfully receiving SSB 
and even digital modes on a Baofeng handheld. I'll now do the same with it operating as a BFO on this Super Regen receiver. That should produce more stable and better results than with the set's internal oscillator. I've just set its frequency to slightly off the beacon. The beacon is in 144.530. I've gone for 500 hertz below it. I'll just press M and then we'll be sending a signal from the Nano VNA. And you might have just heard something in the receiver. And there's a good signal there. I'll just try fiddling around. Now it's a bit sloppy here. Let's go back here. As for the injection level, there's no electrical connection. But if I wanted to increase the injection, there might be a bit of an overloading effect there. 144.489 Why do we need this frequency? Keep watching and find out. I'll now just tune it in. Okay, there's the signal. I'll crank the volume control up. Here's the computer. I've got the WSJTX software going and it's set up to decode Whisper. Will there be any signals? This has just come on. A fairly strong Whisper transmission. just popped up is VK3II. Further so far around 50 kilometers. In a few minutes is an SSB net, so I will change frequency from whisper and go to SSB and it's 
Yeah, we just heard a station there, I think VK3UBU. Okay, station in the road. That's VK3UBU. VK3CWF. I think I'm slightly off tune. What I'll now do, I'll turn off the nano DNA. And it is oscillating. This is the fine tuning. Okay, we'll go back to the Nano VNA uh, as the VFO, as that's giving more listenable results. So, uh, 
I think, and I also got some signals from the, from the guys radar in France that were setting uh, another stronghold over the hope that I think the inversion might have something to do with that. Pretty much all, so... Uh, Blame on David, but uh, and uh, uh, um, uh, Ralph wasn't too strong. I'm going to blame on this. This blame reminds me of an enormous one for that. Well, you know, uh, back in the Rodley J3 and QH3, 